Welcome to Cook with Joy. I'm Joy Kelly and this is Cook with Joy and I hope it's your favorite cooking show. It's my favorite cooking show. Today we're going to make something super fun, super easy and super good for you all at the same time. I can't believe it. A lot of people love ice cream, right? And they I think, love ice cream. <laughs> yeah, well, you probably think it's not bad for you. You think, well, I don't eat that much ice cream. I'm really fit. It's not that big of a deal. But just ask yourself this. So when you eat, sit down to eat ice cream, do you eat about a pint? I know a lot of people that sit down, they eat about a pint of ice cream. Is that about right? That's one serving size. Yeah, yeah. So a pint of ice cream. So would you ever sit down and have 24 pieces of bacon? Probably not. Because that's the amount of fat that you're getting when you have a pint of ice cream. When you drink three glasses of milk, you're getting 21 pieces of bacon. No one would ever, ever, ever say, you know, I'm going to have 21 pieces of bacon today. So we're going to show you a way that you can make something akin to ice cream. I know it's not going to be Haagen-Dazs, but it's going to be very good and it's going to be very good for you. And here's the thing. As you start to change your taste buds, you'll start to crave stuff like this. I promise you. What we're going to do is we're going to use frozen fruit. Now I'm using mango today, but you could use frozen bananas. You could use frozen strawberries, frozen peaches, whatever flavor you like. And then you want to add some dried fruit. And I'm going to use the same dried fruit. I'm going to use dried mango. And then you might want to have like a little alternative taste. So I'm going to add a little bit of shredded coconut and a little bit of coconut milk. And that's going to give it more of a ice milk kind of flavor. You could just use lemon and turn it more into a sorbet. But this is a super easy thing to make. We're going to use this blender. Now, once again, I don't have my Vitamix. We'll see how this thing works. So here we go. I'm going to open up the mango chunks, I think. I might, might, might need some help on this one. Shoot, I, uh, or some teeth. Yeah, uh, the teeth worked. OK, so we're just going to dump that into this little blender. And I'm hoping that this blender works. What I love about Cook With Joy is that you never know what's going to happen. Hopefully everything works out, but you never know. Next, we're going to add the dried mango. This stuff is so good. I love having dried mango around. We're going to add that. And we're going to add a little bit of the coconut. And we're going to do this all by taste. This is not an exact measurement thing, as you can tell. And we're going to add a little bit of the coconut milk. And I don't want to get too much milk added because I don't want it to be too thin. So we're just going to start out with a little bit. We don't want this to be a smoothie. We want it to actually be ice cream. This would work better in my Vitamix. I'm sure of it. So let's just give it a try. I'm going to put it on smoothie. Just because I don't, I don't want to get too much liquid in it. I don't want it to turn into a smoothie. And that's always the, um, the fear when you're making an ice cream type product like this in a blender is that the bottom can get, in fact, let's just stir it up a little bit. I'm sure that's the proper way to do that. And we'll add a little more milk because I see that it got, it got soaked in. So add a little more. Okay, it's going to get loud. Plug your ears. Okay, it finally worked. <laughs> and it looks pretty good. Have a look. Now, you might want to freeze it a little bit, but I can never wait to taste things. So I'm going to put a little bit in this dish now. What I would probably do in the future is I would either use a Vitamix, which would make it go faster and I wouldn't have to put so much liquid in, or I could freeze it a little bit. But one way or another, I know that this is going to be yum. I'm going to actually taste a little bit of it right now. This is the proper size serving spoon to be using when eating ice cream, I think. That's pretty darn good. I'm actually really surprised. This is the first time I've made it. So well, try it out. Try it with different fruits. Try it with strawberries, bananas, peaches, blueberries. See what you think about it and serve it to your friends. This would be really good with some fresh blueberries on top. This would be delicioso. I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll stay tuned for our next episode of Cook With Joy. Have a great day.